present your speech, Ode to be a Dog, by Rick Manwell. This speech will also be five to seven minutes. Madam Toastmaster, do you have a dog? Or did you ever own a dog? No. No? Never a cat. That's okay. Only a little cat. How <laughs> about my fellow Toastmasters and guests? Does anybody ever own a dog? I like them though. Or have a dog? Two. Two? Okay. I'm going to say some things and let me see if you can relate to these comments. When you're cold, you put a sweater on your dog. You have a picture of your dog in your wallet, but you don't have a picture of your wife or your kids. <laughs> yes. You let, you let your dog listen to conversations on the telephone. <laughs> Or maybe your bed isn't big enough for both you and your dog. It is. My friend Steve and his family were driving down to Florida March break. And they stopped a, in a little country store just outside of Kentucky. Before they went into the store, there was a sign that said, Danger, beware of dog. As they walked into the store, they saw this old hound dog laying by the cash register sleeping. So my neighbor said to the owner, is that the dog that we're supposed to be aware of? And the owner said, well, sure. And Steve said, well, why am I supposed to be aware of the dog? He said, well, if you trip over him, you're going to wake him up. <laughs> you're going to wreck his neck. <laughs> oh, to be a dog. You know? About 10 years ago, my wife and I were living in a, an apartment condominium on the third floor. And she wanted do a dog. Claudia, my wife, wanted a dog. My perfect excuse or my argument at that time was, well, I am not going to get up in the middle of the night, go down three flights of stairs to let that dog go outside and do his business, then climb back up three flights of stairs. It's not going to happen. That worked for a while. <clears throat> but then we agreed to have a townhouse built here in Etobicoke. And it wouldn't be ready for about two years. And I thought during that time, she's going to forget about the dog, right? Wrong. Well... <coughs> I found out that she was researching the type of dog she wanted, the breed. She wanted a small dog. She grew up with small dogs. And she had some logic behind this. Small dogs, they don't need a lot of exercise. Small dogs, they don't eat a lot of food. Small dogs, they don't need a lot of food. They just have little poops. <laughs> nothing, nothing too major. But in April 2003, we finally moved to our townhouse in Etobicoke. But it took about two years to get our yard fenced in and the landscaping done. And then we had a couple of family health issues. And I thought for sure that she's going to forget about the dog. Well, no. That gave her some more time to think about the dog. Dog books started showing up on the bedside tables. Dog magazines started to show up. <coughs> Cut out pictures of dogs <coughs> were starting to show up around the house. Well. It was January 19th, 2007. Claudia brought home our little bundle of joy, a Yorkshire <laughs> Terrier. And if you haven't met him, some of you have. His name is Sweden. Yes, like the country. And why Sweden? Well, he's named after the 2002 Swedish World Cup soccer team. And if you've ever seen these fellows, they're quite cute. And so is her puppy. That's the relation. And the puppy, he is really cute, but uh, he is c quite controlling. I don't know if anybody's ever gone to go get a dog, but to get a purebred dog, there's quite the process to follow. I didn't want to be involved with any of this, so it was Claudia's job to go and do this. She went and found the breeder, but then I had to go with Claudia to the breeder because they had to interview us to see if we were a suitable family unit to bring this dog home. I thought you'd just pay a breeder a bunch of money and you take the dog home. No, 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 no. These dogs are registered with the Canadian Kennel Club. They have royal bloodlines. Come on. A good way to uh, give a dog breeder close to a heart attack is to say, or to call the dog it in front of them. They just, they just give themselves a little bit of a shake. But Sweden does not live in our world. We live in his. This dog, again, controls our lives. On the first floor of our house, he has a bed. On the second floor of our house, he has three beds, not including two couches. On the third floor of our home, 
He has two beds, one of which is mine. Our house uh, looks like we have 11 kids running around the place. Toys all over. But no, it's one little dog. And we don't need an alarm clock anymore. We have a four-legged, five-pound, little, cute little thing that sleeps with us. At 6.15 every morning, he comes up from underneath the duvet, stops at our pillow, and he shakes himself awake. It wakes us up as well. But then he hops to the edge of the bed like a little mountain goat, and he goes, and that's my signal to get up out of bed, carry him down three flights of stairs. He has me trained. Let him outside to go and do his business. Well, when he comes back in, he gets a little treat for going poopy outside. Good, good boy, go party outside. He gets that every day. He has me, he has me figured out. Well, breakfast, lunch, and dinner are all heated meals, of course. And his favorite night is Thursday. Thursday night is his party night because Claudia and I go to Toastmasters. Every Thursday, either Claudia or I go down into the freezer and we get a big beef bone, almost the size of him. <laughs> Heat it up and put it down for him as we leave out the door. He looks at us as we go out the door and sees the beef bone. He doesn't care if we're gone. He really doesn't. But he has a great routine. He wakes up when he wants to. 6.15. He goes outside, has a little bit of breakfast, plays a little bit, goes back to sleep until noon, wakes up, has a little lunch, plays a little bit, goes back to sleep until 5, gets up, has a little dinner, plays a little bit, he likes to watch TV from about 8 till 9, and then he goes to sleep somewhere between 10 and 11. Oh, Madam Toastmaster, to be a dog. <laughs> Thank you very much.